Hi Ladybirds, welcome to your next fantastic day at school. So today's date that we've got today is that we are going to be on Thursday today. And you can see that Thursday has got a digraph at the start. We're going to learn this digraph very soon in phonics. But you can have a quick sneak preview. And this one is a sound. Okay, now for Thursday. Now yesterday it was the 13th of January. Now that means that today we're going to be adding one more on. See if you can have a little think about working out at home. You could either use the number track that you've been using in maths. You could um, see if you could have a go at using your fantastic counting and work on what would one more than 13 be. Well done, Ladybird. So I think a lot of you, because you're so super clever, will have worked out at home with you and your grown up that our next number is a 14. OK, now I wanted to show you something special about 14 because 14 isn't just a one and then a four. 14 has actually still got that 10 in there, but it's just that that 10 is almost hiding away the zero has been replaced by that number four because number um 14 has got 10 and four more so instead of it being a zero it's now turned into a 14 so i just thought i'd show you how that number is made okay ladybirds right a little bit about your day today then so first of all we're going to do our little mass meeting today and um, because it's a Thursday we're going to focus on our mass meeting and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that in a moment. You have your text map time that is all ready to go for you and you can do the next part of the gingerbread man. Really exciting part is that gingerbread man is getting a little bit closer over um, near that fox, near the water. Oh, it's there, all the streams. Very exciting bit for you to look at. You have got a choosing time challenge today as well. Your choosing time challenge is very exciting. It is one where you're going to need super fantastic finger strength, like from Busy Fingers, once again. Um, I think you'll really enjoy it. It's a really little, little bit of a messy one, which is um, always exciting for you. Um, but don't worry, parents and grown-ups at home, it's not it's okay um so you have got that little challenge today as well to look forward to and that's another video that you can explore you have your um maths challenge as well which is an oak academy challenge today and you've also got a, another fantastic story time to look forward to to finish your day now today for our little maths meeting I wanted us to have a little um, think back a little bit about shape because we did lots about shapes before Christmas and part, part of what we do for our maths meeting is we have a little quick reminder of some of the amazing things that you've learned and how clever you are ladybirds. Now today I wonder whether you could have a go at working out what shape I've got. Now I've got something here which is like a pool ball OK, and there's lots of different balls that um, you can use, like footballs or cricket balls, tennis balls, bouncy balls, got marbles, got lots of really interesting one. Now, first of all, do you happen to remember, is it a 2D shape or a 3D shape? See if you can talk a little bit, pause the video, talk a little bit at home. OK, Ladybirds, well done for talking about that at home. Now, to help you, this one is a 3D shape. Now, the 3D shapes are solid shapes that we can pick up, we can hold, we can we can move. OK, now some of our 2D shapes, if I show you back on my whiteboard, it will be a little bit like if I had this 2D shape. Now, this one you can see is a circle and this one, can I pick it up? <gasps> No, this one, a little bit like number blocks in the episode Flatland, which is a really good one. This one is a shape that is just completely flat. It's just got one face 
but it's completely flat I can't pick it up I can't lift it it's stuck to my board okay so that means that this is a 3d shape and I've got a special 3d shape here and I've also got a few different ones you might notice I've got some pool balls or I, although their real name is pool balls I've been um, saying that we can use these in class for anything that we want to because we could have a go you'll notice there's lots of numbers on these um, we could have a go at these being um, superhero buttons they could have a go at being special um, special balls that you roll along the carpet and then at the end when they stop they transform into something it could be whatever you want them to be Got another number that we had the other day there as well if you remember that number well done are you there so these ones have got a special name i've also got another one here which is a slightly irregular shape because it's gone a little bit flat in places but some play-doh and this name for this shape you might have already said it at home listening to me talking is it's called a sphere okay can you say that a sphere well done ladybirds now a sphere shape okay see if you can now talk a little bit at home about something about the sphere shape so you might use a sentence that talks a little bit about whether it has corners or whether or how many faces that it has or maybe you might talk a little bit about whether it has got it, properties that maybe make it roll or whether it's got properties that make it stand flat is it good to build with if you put lots of these on top of each other would it be a good way to build maybe a rocket or a castle have a little think about what you'd like to talk about at home well done ladybirds fantastic so we can talk a little bit about this now together now that you've had a chance to talk so this sphere shape it's just got one face it's got one face that goes all the way round and it's a, a face that is continuous so it keeps on going it never really stops it never reaches a corner there are no corners on this one it's one that you can roll along and on this one um it is mm, probably not the best for building towers with might be good if you were putting something maybe on the top but like we did a lot of investigations about before christmas a lot of you were very good at starting to tell me oh they roll off don't they and the towers sometimes come down well done ladybirds it'd be amazing today maybe when you're out and about doing your choosing time Maybe see as well if you can spot any sphere shapes in your house as you're going. Okay, we'll remember one of our 3D shape names. Well done, ladybirds. I hope you really enjoy your day today. Bye.